what is Centrally Human? Centrally Human is a program that empowers teens to take action in their community. The program builds confidence through learning, cultivating our forward thinking, and showing us how to build real-world plans to create change. Centrally Human reinforces the power in our voice and to be breakers of the status quo through inclusive innovation. We come together to share ideas, discuss ways to make our communities better, and we leave with the toolkit of resources to make a difference. Centrally Human reinforces how brilliant and courageous we really are as we tackle the restraints of the system. My name is Kenzie, and I'm a Centrally Human innovator. My name is Akaya Corey, and I am a Centrally Human innovator. Want to get involved? There is no day like today to help empower us, your future. Learn more at centrallyhuman.org. Bye. Great. Can you guys hear me okay? I've got some background noise. Let me know. Can you not hear me? Okay, we're going to keep going. Oh, what do we got here? Yep, perfect. Thank you so much. So we are recording this and thank you all so much for joining. Um, this is our volunteer kickoff. So we are really excited to get started. Again, there are oh, there are folks that can come today. So we are recording this, but this is our volunteer kickoff and we're so excited to get started. We are here for three reasons, to introduce us to each other, to give an overview of the organization and also how to get started. So we're gonna go through um, an introduction to who Central Human is, I'll outline who our board is, what our mission and vision is, the benefits to volunteers, volunteer opportunities, and literally how to get started. So before we get started, the virtual room rules, um, use the chat. Feel free to unmute and just ask. If you can turn your video on, fabulous. Um, I am actually, we're getting some work done on my home, so I am sitting on a, a hotel balcony right now um, in a co-working space. So um, that is my context. I will keep my video on, but if you hear some background noise, that's why. Um, be brave. Don't feel uncomfortable asking questions. Let's lean in uh, and, and trust each other. And then finally, a little RESPCT. Let's respect each other and the space. Does that feel good to everyone? Awesome. Great, thank you all so much. And again, we have probably about 20 people that have RSVP'd for the video. So we might have folks joining in. We're gonna keep going. And again, this recording will be shared. So some fast facts about Centrally Human. We were founded in 2015 and officially incorporated as a 501c3 in 2020. Um, to date, over the last five years, um, we have reached over 300 teenagers in our inclusive innovation programming. Um, you can learn more about that programming on our website, centrallyhuman.org slash teenagers. We have over six board members. The majority of them are women of color, uh, which we're incredibly proud of. And our impact goal is 100 100% of our teenagers report positive experiences. 100% walk away with their actionable plan. 45% have an LLC incorporated before the training is finished. And 100% report wanting to continue the work with over 33% having confidence in as little as three weeks. So the benefits for our teenagers, 50% off future workshops when they work with Central the Human. Um, they can access our more advanced boot camps, including leadership development. They become alumni, so they get to network and talk with us and our board and all the alumni across the country. They get free tickets to our annual gala, which we'll be announcing soon um, and looking for volunteers to help us with. And then we are always on call to help them in anything that they need. We had a member reach out and say she needed some help with financial planning. We immediately connected her with a board member with a background in that. So you can see that we're a very close tight knit community. Currently we're running a couple campaigns. We have summer programming direct to teenagers for inclusive innovation, as well as our leadership bootcamp for our alumni. And then we're currently writing um, grants to get funding to support programming with nonprofits. So there's a lot of nonprofits that wanna do work with us. They just don't have the 
funding to bring our curriculum to them. So we write grants so we can offer all of our curriculum and support to nonprofits that have a ton of teenagers um, that need help. So our three-year vision is really specific. We wanna train 5,000 teenagers to have them certified as inclusive innovators and active in our network um, within the next three years. We want 1,000 nonprofit and community organizations using our curriculum. Our curriculum is super turnkey, so there's no reason why this is impossible. We want $1 million in support. What happens when you get a $100 million nonprofit is that it unlocks a additional funding for more money. So once you hit that $1 million mark, you get additional funding as well. And then 100%, we want all of our teenagers self-reporting that they are meeting their plans and goals. The benefits to volunteers, and then I'm gonna show you all the volunteer opportunities, and I'd love to open it up for questions and conversation. So for our volunteers, and let me know if you can't hear me by the way, and I can move, but hopefully you can hear me just fine. I'm actually going to do a spot check in the chat here. How's the audio? Good. Okay, perfect. So volunteer benefits. You as a volunteer get free access to our inclusive innovation programming. You get free access to our facilitator training. So not only can you become an inclusive innovator and inclusive innovation certified, you can be a facilitator. So you can bring this to a community group, a church group, um, a nonprofit yourself. You can just have that skill, even if you don't practice regularly. You get the support and collaboration directly with me, the executive director. Hi, I'm Kim. I founded the company uh, and the board. So we are here for you just as I'm leaning in and you would probably never know that I was the founder um, and I've been leading this organization for five years. You get that same opportunity with our board and myself. So it really is a tight knit team and a family. Resume building and references. So we wanna meet you where you're at and help you build and grow. So as much as you're offering a ton of opportunity for us, we wanna give that back to you. So you can skill build. And if you wanna use us as a professional reference, we will absolutely vouch for you and you can put that down. Experience building. So our organization's foundations have been laid over the last five years. Now it's time to build it from the foundation up you get to do that. So if you ever have interest in startups are really digging in and working directly with leadership teams for growth, this is that opportunity. Remote and virtual work, we believe in work of the future. You do you where you need to do you at any point in time. If you do need some space, we have a flexible co-working space in the Chicago Loop. All you do is call me or text me and say, Kim, I need to get out of the house. I'm working on some stuff for Centrally Human. Is there a space I can go? And I will hook you up. And then finally, flexible scheduling. You have a life, you have a lot going on. Lean in and plug in what your schedule allows. So here are all the opportunities uh, broken out in more detail. You got involved in this because you saw something, whether it was business development, marketing, board membership, there was something about what we were putting out there that you were interested in. So here is that in more detail. I'm gonna walk through these and then I would um, love to talk to you about next steps and answer any questions that you have. So for digital developer, we are building out our digital certification and alumni portal. All of our curriculum lives online, but we need someone with software development or HTML website experience that wants to help us build out this portal even more. Our digital ambassadors, this is something where if you have a little time and want to make a big impact, this is what that is. So help us grow awareness and reach by just following, posting, sharing, liking, commenting, putting it on your story. Help us grow our follower base and our engagement. Event management, whether we're doing in-person events or, in or virtual events, whether we're kicking off a curriculum or doing a training, we need help. We need to invite, prepare, create that buzz, and then do day of coordination and event follow-up. So we regularly do monthly trainings for facilitators and for our nonprofits, and we're going to be having our annual gala. And we need volunteers that are really good party planners. Content curate content curation and curation. So if you are good at making content, this is for you. If you are great at sharing online or building in Canva and you love to pull together content or create it, this is for you.
leader and step into a board role. We are actively looking for board members. So if you all want to be a brand ambassador, help us develop that funds and be a strategic leader, you will check this box on the form to lean in to be a board leader. Grant writing, every penny counts. So we need help writing grants. We have all the facts and information. We need you to help us get those grants out there so we can qualify for every single grant that makes sense for us. And we are a human organization, which means video, video, video. So we have a ton of raw footage. I currently edit our videos. So if you have any video editing experience, we would love to have you help out. And finally, partnership outreach. If you love networking, this is for you. Reaching out with partners on social or with nonprofits, businesses, and foundations with the phone or emails doing that direct outreach. We can't do this without partners. We can't do this without all the businesses that say that they want to change the world working with us to actually change the world. So what do you do next? You, all you have to do is fill out this Google form and I will show you that in a minute. Update your LinkedIn. So you can go right here to add experience, put volunteer for Centrally Human in your work experience section and you are connected to us and follow us on social media. The biggest thing you need to do is take five minutes to fill out that volunteer form. And that's where you can check every box that we just went through to tell us what you're interested in. We also ask for your hours and availability. And at that point, we'll put you with your group and cohort and we'll get started within the week. So I just ran through a ton of information. I'm gonna take a quick pause and see if there are any questions, comments, anything that you wanna hear about. And then I can jump in and show you that Google form to get started. So while I pull that up, are there any questions that anyone wants to ask? Hey Kim, it's Constance. I was just um, wanted to ask, where is the where do you need volunteers the most right now? That's a really good question. Oh, probably digital ambassador um, and content curator. Right? It's really hard when we are reaching out to partners and they look at us online and they look at our social media. And again, we've trained hundreds of teens. Our nonprofit partners love what we do, but the new ones still look at social media and followers as a gauge on impact. And so I would say these three right here, helping us build out our website um, to make those experiences for our members even more powerful when they're going through the certification. But the digital ambassador and content creator, helping us make sure that our online presence reflects the reality of what we do for people that are involved is so important right now. And then finally, grant writing, that's another huge one. If, you're, if you've ever written a grant or you know how to write in general, we can teach you. Um, I guess we'll do a tic-tac-toe and say right here across the board, these are probably our, our top needs. <laughs> um, hi, Kim, this is, uh, it says Bounds, but my first name is Deborah. Um, Hello. Hi, I have experience in digital and um, right now I'm in transition as far as finding something permanent. But when I noticed your uh, volunteer area, what interests me the most is the digital space because I also have some new um, skills that I've uh, picked up since I went back to school. And uh, I'd like to work if possible in a number of different areas, the digital development, as well as digital ambassador. Yep. I've yep. done a lot of copywriting, as well as content creation, because I'm someone who's good at coming up with ideas in order to um, get traffic in and retaining them. Oh, fabulous. Um, is it possible for a person like me to work in a number of different areas? Because for me, I, I really want to uh, strengthen my, um, I know HTML, but I really want to get more involved with it. <laughs> so yes. are your candidates more, are they more at a higher level? Because I'm looking to exchange knowledge and still be of value. Is that okay? Yes, that's perfect. And let me actually show this form to you right now. Oh, where did it go here? 
So to your question, I'm going to show you the form so you can see how that works. Yes, you can do multiple items and I'll show you how you can check those boxes in our form. And this is, yes, you want to increase your skills. Your value for us is so important. And so really, this is where you can lean in and do some skill development. So if you have a little bit of working knowledge, but you want to practice and do more, you get to work directly with me and the team. And I have a background in, in this as well. So yes, you don't have to be a total expert to want to lean in and help. Okay. That's helpful. And we would love, we would love your help. Okay. And can you see my screen right now with the bit.ly? Yes. Okay. So let me see if I can't get... There we go. So here's the form and you can see this okay? Yes. So here's the form and this is all the basic questions that we have. You can do this, you know, probably in five minutes. We ask for your address because we have some swag, some gifts to send. That also helps us with time zones. Um, your birthday, not only would we love to send you a gift on your birthday, but this also helps us assign into age group categories, as well as report back to our funder. So a lot of times our funders will ask us questions in grants like, what are the age regions of your volunteers? And by putting in your birthday, we know when you're potentially going into a different age group versus having to ask you to update it every year. Um, same for gender and ethnic identity. Not only does this help us meet you where you're at, we get asked these questions from our funders. And here is where you can select all the different activity types. So if you want to be our digital developer, we're currently calling it our little hive. I'll update that to match. Um, that's like an internal thing I've been using. But uh, you can select, you can say, I want to do all of this. And that's then you'd be put in all those categories as we work with our volunteer coordinator. Um, av volunteer availability, this helps me understand when we can call you, when you want to work, when you don't want to be volunteering, hours per month, if it's one hour, if it's five hours, this just helps us meet you where you're at. Um, so Deborah, does that make sense? Yes. Is this helpful? Yes, very much. Fabulous. Any other questions? Well, and if you all want to start right now, here are those next steps. So you can, you know, jump in here and start filling it out. Um, you can go into, and I will actually show you this as well. This is really, this LinkedIn is important as well. So let's see here. If we go to linkedin.com, I'm going to show you why we're specific about this. So by filling us out as a work experience versus a volunteer, that actually connects you to our company so we can better connect with you. And my connection's being a little slow. Here we go. I put the screenshot in the slide, but what you can do right now if you're a volunteer is celebrate it. Celebrate the fact that you're making a difference. So you go into your work experiences and where it says experience, you hit the plus button. And this is where you can add yourself as a volunteer or a staff volunteer to Centrally Human. And you will show up and, and uh, be validated both on our company page as well as on your own personal page. So you can do that as well. And then feel free to follow us on social. We do have an amazing social media um, volunteer right now, Hansi, who has been doing a stellar job with all of our posts, but Hansi needs help. <laughs> she can't do it all. So she couldn't be here today, but she is so excited to have more volunteers helping her out with posts and sharing and additional support to, to get the word out and grow our brand. And then we're also bringing on um, college interns, so university students to help um, as part of their uh, semester internship um, in July as well. So we're really growing our team quickly, but our volunteers are core to the organization. And so we're, we're truly touched and honored to have you all on board, the ones that have joined and the ones that are watching this recording. Um, any other questions? Great. Well, the last thing I'll say is that this is all going to be sent out and shared. 
So you will get my information, my cell phone number. If you have any questions and want to jump on the phone, um, we'll send you the link to the Google form so you can fill that out as well as this recording. So feel free to share with friends. If you can fill this out today or tomorrow, we'll set up time and get you connected into the specific volunteer tasks you want to work on by early next week. Thank you all so much. I will stay on the line until everyone drops, but um, that was what we wanted to cover today. And um, we really appreciate your time and can't wait to work with you all. We are honored to have you as volunteers.